In this video, I'm going to be explaining what is and how to set up lead scoring inside of HubSpot CRM so you can go ahead and assess the quality of your leads based on a number of different attributes and score them accordingly. Welcome to the channel. My name is Nick. Thank you ever so much for giving this video a watch. Hopefully it will be of value to you. Just before we get into the video, if you are signing up to HubSpot for the first time, it would be greatly appreciated if you could use my link below. It really does help the channel out. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So once you log into your HubSpot CRM system, of course, you're going to come to the home screen. Now, like I said in this video, I'm going to be explaining what is how to use the contact scoring inside of HubSpot CRM, and then I'll show you how to see it on the actual contacts as well. So let me firstly actually just introduce the idea of scoring or contact scoring. Essentially, what this is, is we are able to score a contact and we can do this for every single contact that's in our HubSpot CRM system and we can score them high or low. We can add points or subtract points based on certain criteria or certain attributes of that particular contact. So as an example, if we know that one particular contact has visited our website five times, we might add a point for every single time that they go on our website. So they would they would have accumulated five total points. And the reason that would be a good thing is because obviously if they're interacting with the, web, with the website, they're more likely to purchase from you. They're engaging with the business essentially. So you would rank that particular contact higher. Now, another example of, of where you may subtract um, uh, subtract a point is if someone uh, unsubscribes from, from from your emailing list. So if someone's unsubscribed from the email list, you might subtract a point or two or maybe five. It's entirely up to you because they are showing less interest in the business. So it's really, really useful and you can score a number of different things and also any associations that particular contact has. So let's say that contact is associated with the deal. If you know that that particular deal is new business, you might score it lower, but if it's repeat business, you might score it higher, and that scoring will be assigned to the contact, and it will be um, worked out accordingly. So really, really interesting, and essentially what it allows you to do is work out where your best contacts are coming from, which contacts are scoring the highest, and, and then you can start assessing why. Why does this particular contact um, score higher than this one and then you might look at the lead source or a number of different attributes that could determine or help you improve your business based on the scoring. So what we then need to do in order to set up our scoring first is go to the cog in the top right hand corner here, go to the settings area. Then we want to go to data management down the bottom left and then head over to our properties. Now it should be selected as contact properties. If it's not, just use the drop down menu to select an object and ensure you select the contact properties area. And then from here, I think the best thing to do is just use the search bar and just search hub spot score, if I can spell correctly. There we go. And this is our scoring property. So this is what enables us to add um, or remove, or I suppose add or subtract a score to a particular contact based on criteria and this is where we can set up the criteria and we can get really really complicated with it. So if you go ahead and select on that particular property you'll be brought to the field type. Now you do have this basic information stuff here there isn't really much to it if I'm being honest with you um, but we'll just focus on the field type area. So you can see we have a positive and a negative. So obviously positive is when we add points, negative is when we're gonna subtract points. And we can add criteria. So if this, if contact equals this, then add two points. If, contra if, if contact equals this, then subtract two points, okay? So we can do both. We can go and add criteria on both sides. So let's start with positive. And this is just going to be an example for the video, but obviously you can go absolutely crazy with this. You can add loads and loads and loads of different criteria points to work out who your optimum, who your optimum lead is, I suppose, or optimum contact, um, and work out what is good and what is bad as well. So if we go ahead and press add criteria, what we firstly need to do is you see here it says score and there's a little pencil button by it. If we press the pencil button, we can then assign what the actual value of the score is. Now you can, you can do it one, 10, five, whatever you like, a million, it's entirely up to you. So I'm just gonna put 15. So if, so I've just pressed the set button, so I just change it and then press the set button. 
And then you can see here you've got the filter type. So this is all of the contact associations that could be included with this particular contact. So obviously you've got contact properties, but they the contact always relates to obviously a company, it might relate to a deal, it might relate to activities. There are loads and loads of different things that the contact could be connected with that might make us add or subtract certain points. So obviously a deal, for example, if we search deal, and then we said, um, as an example, the type of business let's say so let me search through deal type so this is a contact if we select deal type is any of and then you can use the drop down menu and go new business or existing business then you can go ahead and assign a score based on whether the the deal that this particular contact is associated with is new or existing business so i'm going to say i'm going to add a score of 15 points if the deal this contact is associated with is existing business and then all you need to do is just press the apply filter button and then what you can do and this is where you get really clever is you can create an and or sequence so you can do and this um so you can say deal type is any of exist is any of existing business and it is this and then we then you get assigned the 15 points and then obviously you can just do an and so you can create a totally separate scoring rule so if you do contact properties and then you might say um, last engagement date and then you can select is after is before is between is not between is less than five days let's say and there we go and then we can apply the filter and there you go there you have it so you have your scoring for that and then you can just go ahead and add additional criteria on top of that as well and then when you press the add criteria button you're essentially starting again so you can create ands on the list here so what we've done is in order for this particular contact to be assigned 15 points the deal type of any existing business must be so the deal type must be existing business and the last engagement date is less than five days ago you can see here you've got the warning about apple's new privacy feature which <laughs> which is um a totally separate matter to totally separate video but okay so we've got our point set up we can add additional points for a totally separate um instance so now we could say okay let's add five points or 54 let's just go for five so we we'll set that and then we can say um contact properties or actually let's go to company properties so let's say if this contact is associated with a company um that let's have a look through what options have we got um da, 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 da. um let's say of an annual revenue is equal to or greater than um a million there we go then you can go ahead and apply the filter so it then you'd assign a score of five to that particular contact record if it is associated with a company that has an annual revenue equal to or greater than a million so because then that contact would probably be of greater value to you as a business and then we can add our negatives as well so we can literally go through this and just add criteria after criteria after criteria you could end up scrolling for a, a through a long long list of criteria and like i said you can do the and or basis as well and then we have this so we've got the negatives and it's exactly the same as the positives the only difference is we're obviously subtracting points as opposed to adding points to our contact so if i go ahead and press the add criteria button let's say contact properties um let's go through uh let me have a look which would be most applicable and let's say if we go status is inactive for example so then we can go ahead and change the score to minus 10 so let's say or maybe maybe even minus 20 so let's say if this contact status is inactive then we will subtract 20 points from this particular contact now this is a complete example. This is just a complete example. I'm making this up as I go along. There is obviously going to be rhyme and reason to why you would apply filters like this, why you would have a positive, why you'd have a negative. You can look at your data and make an assessment accordingly. So once you've set up, again, just press the apply filter button. You can change the points at any point like uh, here, as you so wish. You can add the and or option and you can just go ahead and add additional criteria as you so wish, just like we did on the positive side. Now we've also got actions, you can use the drop down menu where you can clone and consequently delete the scoring to L or the, fill, the criteria that you've created and that will just remove that. So if I go here and go to the annual revenue and just press the delete button, you can see that that has now been removed. We have up to 100 filters we can apply, we are limited to that, it's probably a good thing, good thing. otherwise it could go on forever and ever and ever. And what we also can do is we can test our score criteria. 
So once you have gone through um, or you've begun changing things and setting everything up, you can go ahead and press the test score criteria. You can search through contacts, find a contact you want to test the scoring on, and you can test it on, for instance, myself. So I've just tested it on myself. As you can see, I have scored zero because I am not on not getting anything positive and I'm not getting anything negative. So unfortunately, that was a poor example, but hopefully you get the idea. You can go ahead and test it as you so wish. Once you're happy and you've gone through everything, you've got the used in, um, that is just a number of contacts with a value of this property one out of one. So where, where is this particular score being applied? Once you're happy, go ahead and press the save button. That The HubSpot scoring will now be updated. So that will be working in the background and making assessments on the score of every single contact that gets added and updated in your HubSpot system. Now, you may also be wondering, how do I then see the score? So that's really easy as well. If we go to the contacts at the top, use the drop down menu and just go to contacts. Go to myself, uh, which is Nick, which we just did that test on. What we want to do is we want to go to actions up the top here, use the drop down menu and then go to view all properties. So go ahead and press that button. And then what we want to do is search for all properties. Again, just search for HubSpot score and you'll be able to see that this has now been this. This has come up for the sales properties. What you need to do is just press the add to your view and you can see you've got your view here, email, phone, contact owner, etc. You can drag and drop and change the view. So let's just bring HubSpot score to the top for this example video. And then we go ahead and press the back button and you will see here the HubSpot score is now zero. But obviously, if I was scoring accordingly based on the criteria that we set, you'd be able to see the score that that particular contact was at. And that would obviously change for every single contact you've got in your HubSpot system. Now, you can also do reporting um, to find out which, which contacts are scoring higher and lower and why and start making assessments on this. Um, scoring can be used for a whole host of different reasons. But hopefully this video has given you a clear insight into how to, well, essentially what is scoring, a very brief insight into what is scoring, how to set it up and then how to view it as well inside of your HubSpot system. Uh, and I will see you shortly in a moment's time. You should now be set to begin scoring your leads inside of HubSpot CRM, evaluating which are the good leads and which are the bad leads and engaging accordingly. If you have enjoyed the video or found it at all useful, please consider giving it a like, possibly even subscribing. If you have any further questions at all, you're more than welcome to drop a comment below or you can email me as my details are in the description below and I will do my absolute best to answer any questions you do have. Thank you ever so much for watching and I will hopefully see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.